Well, I'm not too sure why. I thought on January the 1st, 2021, we would finally be free of COVID-19. I'm not too sure why I had that mindset. And I'm not too sure whether I'm the only person that did have it. But I was hoping that we were going to start a new year fresh with freedom, be allowed to do what we want, when we want again, and enjoy the year. However, that didn't happen, did it? And we soon went back down into lockdown. Fishing was banned for a bit. And thankfully, with a little bit of movement from the government, they let us go out for days. So, initially, I would have been going out today doing a bit of fishing, but, because we've had minus temperatures for the last couple of weeks, most of the lakes are frozen, and with that, obviously, we can't go and wet our lines. However, it's given me the opportunity to do something a little bit different for my channel. I like to change things up a little bit, try to do things out, and I've been taking a, a lot of interest in photography. With that, I bought a camera really cheap off an old friend of mine who is a professional photographer. Because he's got no work on, he's been selling some of his camera gear that he's not using for his main stuff. So I bought a Sony 6400 off him with a Sigma 30mm lens. Because I got it so cheap, all I had to do is just sell some of my vlogging equipment that I collected up from doing the YouTube videos. And I bought this camera solely for videos. But, knowing that it's a good hybrid shooter, it's very good at photos and video, I've started just to dabble around with the photography. I've got to be honest, I have been a point and click photographer, so I haven't really delved deep into photography as in setting up cameras and looking at the um, looking at the workings and how to get the best out of manual shooting. But now I have. So I've been on YouTube, looking around, come across POV, which is point of vision photography, where guys are going out with the GoPros or the action cameras strapped to the chest. They're going out practicing taking street photography or woodland photography. And I thought, well, maybe I could incorporate that into my channel, go out, take some photos around a carp lake, dating waters, whatever I can get, and obviously bring the cameras with me and do it for my channel. So I'm currently, the first place I'm going to be going is the Vault Syndicate. It is frozen over apparently, but I'm going to have a walk around, have my exercise that I'm allowed to, because it's not too far away, the bowl, so it is local. So I can go around there, take some shots, and show you guys, and hopefully you may enjoy it, you may not. If you do, then I'll probably expand it a little bit more and do it a bit more on my channel. And obviously you can get a feel of the lake when I'm walking around and uh, have a look at some of its beauty from my photographs. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to get the camera out and I'm going to do some shots. Ta-da! Well, people that are regular visitors to my channel will know this place as the Bowl Carp Syndicate. And I'm just going to have a little sweep round with the camera, taking a bit of uh, photography and bringing you along with me. There's plenty to photo here. Now, don't get thinking that I am a professional because I'm not. Far from it. 
I'm just trying to learn and the only way to do that is to get out in the field and take some photos. Very crisp this morning. I think the only area that's free of ice is just this bank. Now if you see me any, doing anything wrong, please let me know. As I said, I am now professional. And the more help that you can give me, the better photographer I can be. So just drop a comment below. Something for me to try, something for me to change. It's all appreciated. Just going to make my way up to the top of this bank and just walk down there into the wooded area and back along the bank over here. I could possibly do with an ND filter but I haven't got one yet so I'm going to have to make do and see if I can do it and change anything I can in production. That's quite a nice shot to be fair. I know it's just a piece of wood on the floor but it's all about capturing the moment. Something like that. There we go. Just have that sun coming into the shot. 
just to brighten up that right hand side Morning, all right, morning. Yeah. Got some good shots? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bit high, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, it's a nice shot. Just get around this corner and just get that sunrise just coming around. To be fair, I don't think we want that light coming coming in so much. walking these banks for now four years and every time I come down there's always something that to look at always something that's going on and it never does get boring these reeds are usually all up here in the summer be nice for when they start Sprouting back up again. That's a nice shot. I'm just flicking back between 1.4 aperture and round about 4.5. Beautiful. That's 
just see if we can get some of the water just coming down off the well there you go Sorry guys, right big fat coat getting in the way. Let's just come back a bit. Trying to get a shot right the way through. Nice. Right, I ain't gonna try and kill myself here, so I'm just gonna go down to it. Yeah, that's a shot. I don't like that shot.
to be fair, you would think that this sunshine, this little bit of heat we've got, would melt the ice, but because we've had a couple of weeks of minus conditions, then there's probably about two inches of ice on top and it's going to take a while for it to melt especially when the water temperature is really low as well see if we can get this Right, well, this is the uh, valve swim. Very, very popular swim on this lake, especially in the winter period. This bank does quite a lot of fish. Let's see if we can get a snap of it. Let's just see if we can get a little bit of this blade of grass, which would be quite nice. Let's see if we can get the detail on it. Not too sure whether them shots will come out okay. I'm going to pick up the ice. Well, you wouldn't have a photo of a lake if you didn't get a bull rush in it. Down like that. That's better. Beautiful. Obviously a lot colder down this side, as soon as I'm walking into it I can feel the temperatures drop because obviously the sun's not hitting this side of the bank, it's hitting over there. Well, you can just see there, a couple of uh, coat feet in the ice. I'm not too sure whether I can actually pick, up, pick them up, to be fair. Yeah, I can.
Now in all honesty, this area of the lake should be a little bit more interesting if we can find something to photograph. this up a bit so you can see what I'm shooting there we go right Not too sure about that shop, to be honest. This is the pipe. Swim. Another popular swim. And as you can see, that is why. Nice inflow, goes deep channel down there and you've got a nice plateau area out there that you can fish to and it'll just drop off round about, I think it's round about 60 yards out from the swim. Not too sure about that but I'm going to take it. Open this. Just not that aperture up a little bit. Then we can get a bit more of the background. There we go. Yes, another popular swim. However, I'm not going to walk across the uh, boards today because I'll probably end up going in. But get one of them good shots from this place. Now, I'm hoping with this light penetrating through these trees at the top here that we might be able to get a nice interesting shot. Just got a nice little clear area up here where the light can actually get through
Green Angles. My, that might work. No, I don't, I'm not too sure about that. I think I have to go a little bit round. Pick out something here. No. The boat house swim for obvious reasons. I don't think we can get down the side here. No. Wondering whether I can pick something out there, but no. This is the whole, the old pump house. Very interesting. I've taken photographs of it before, so it'd be rude not to do it again. Especially that I've got a new camera. Let's see if I can get this. I don't think there'll be very much to uh, photograph down here, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not feeling that shot. Well, you can see these little interesting shapes in the ice. Uh, I think there's another guy that was on about it on. Whoop! Nearly gone. On Facebook the other day. I am just going to take a photo of one, just as a little bit of a reference. No. 
So I'm going to take the shot, it's got to be a little bit interesting. I'm not going to take a shot just because I want to get a shot of this bank. No, I'm just not feeling it down on here. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed getting out, stretching my legs, getting a little bit of exercise and getting some fresh air in my lungs while I've walked around the Bowl Syndicate. It's also been nice just to pause life for that split second why I took the shot and I'm going to be honest I am a total amateur so I don't come on my channel telling me how crap I am I already know but if you know better you're a little bit more experienced than me and you can let me know how I can improve my photography then I do want to hear from you so let me know in the comments below if I'm doing something wrong I need to correct it then the only way I'm going to do that is by you letting me know and me going out and practicing. Alternatively as well, it'd be great if you like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Just down in that corner you'll find a little red icon. Click on that and then just underneath there to the right you'll find a bell icon and then that will give you updates as and when I upload these videos. So guys, during this lockdown, stay safe social distance and hopefully i'll see you next time on another lake doing a little bit of fishing for the day or just going out bringing the camera with me doing this type of video so bye bye